Hi guys, uh, we're back and it's lesson 28. And this is one of those fun ones, AKA weird ones, where you have to write the problems. So um, it's just like, you gotta get your creative thinking going and try to think about like different people, think about people in your life, think about situations in your house, um, and use the numbers to help you uh, create these fun problems. So I will not be writing the problems. If you're tuning in to see if I write the problem, I'm not gonna do that, but I am going to set it up for you so that you will get the answer right. And then all you have to do is come up with the words that go with it. And I'll give you a few ideas along the way. Um, so first one, create and solve a division story problem about five meters of rope, which this is the hole that is modeled by the tape diagram below. Now you can see that five is being divided into fourths. Now, when, when I've been making the tape diagrams, I've been, we have been making five and then it's one, two, three, four, five, so that you have one, two, three, four, five. And you can see how many of the fourths are in there. And so when we set it up, we did five that was divided by fourths. And so you've got your whole here, which is a whole number over one. Now the real quick way, keep it, change the sign, multiply by the reciprocal. Because remember, multiplication and division are opposite or inverse operations. So if you do the opposite with the opposite, it's like, we were talking about that, it, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. It's like a double negative. And so you're, this is just an easier way to set it up. And you end up with 20 over one, and then you end up with 20. So, um, so how many fourths are there? They're going to be 20. So the answer here is 20, but you still need to write your own problem. Now, the important part is the writing of the problem so that your teacher or I can see if you are understanding what's being split. So let's say you have somebody has um, five meters of, you fill in the blank, rope or hose or something that's long and thin because meters measure length. So make sure that this is something that can be measured in length. Um, uh, you know, gosh, long things, um, a, a stick. <laughs> no, it's, it's rope. So five meters, but then you're going to split each of the whole meters into fourths, okay? And so you want to know how many of these pieces you're going to get. So think of a name, a person, and then you've got this rope, okay? And um, you're going to make something to make decorations, okay? This can be like a fill in the blank. Uh, for a party, you're going to use meters of rope to round up cattle. You're going to use the rope for... Um, I don't know, sectioning off your garden. So do something to write your story like that. Uh, it's a Western theme party. Um, and then you want to say like each piece, okay, after you're setting this up, dot, 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 each piece needs to be uh, like a fourth meter for whatever okay so you need to kind of fill that in think of it how many then the question really that you need to come up with that i'm going to help you with is how many oops how many how many fourths how many fourths that's where you're pulling the question how many fourths can blah 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 make or create or cut, or whatever your your question says, um, from the five meter piece. Okay, so that's what you need to do, and then you need to get your answer here for this one. So that's what we're gonna do today. 
you're going to come up with the story. I'm going to give you kind of a baseline. I'll help you set it up. I'll show you the answer, but uh, you need to do the writing. You guys are always so much more creative than I am. I like your stories better. Next one, create and solve a story problem. About one fourth pound of almonds that is modeled by the tape diagram below. So if this is one fourth pound, then the whole pound, this would be one pound. Okay, so they're kind of leaving that out and saying, hey, this is one fourth pound. But look how many pieces it's being divided into. You need to count this one, two, three, four, five. So how would you uh, write your problem? Um, so think about like who you want to, uh, somebody loves to cook, okay, because almonds are food, so you're going to have to have some sort of a, a cooking or packing or um, some kind of problem, but uh, it's one-fourth that is the whole, and it's being divided by five. Keep it, change it, flip it. And so what is this? So this is 1 20th. And so uh, let's say um, somebody bought a pound, but they're gonna use a quarter pound for this recipe. Um, they're gonna make five batches from this recipe. Um, okay, so a quarter pound in a uh, recipe. And they're gonna make five or you can say, um, oops, or have like a quarter pound for cookies. Okay, that's another thing you can do. Bacon is always great. Um, make five batches, that kind of thing, dot, 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 whatever. It's like you just need to come up with um, how many pounds. Pounds per batch, the batch, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so you're taking the quarter pound, you're doing five things with it, and then how much would be in each? And so that's going to be 1 20th of a pound, and then put your answer. Don't forget to do your answer. You're not just writing the problem, you're also including the answer. Okay, write your own problem and come up with the answer. Same thing on the back. Draw a tape diagram and create a word problem for the following expressions and then solve. Don't forget to solve. So here we have two of something. And if that's your whole and it's being divided into thirds, then each little one is going to be broken into three pieces. And so you've got your two over one divided by one third, which is going to really be keep it, change the sign and multiply by the reciprocal, which gives you six uh, pieces. And then you've got to write some sort of a problem that goes with it. Um, somebody bought, I mean, used eight, I don't know, whatever, two, uh, anything, two yards, two cakes, two uh, something. Okay, and then this is going to be how many pieces? That's your answer. Um, ribbons. <laughs> two yards, two yards of ribbon. Okay, but you can come up with your own thing, dot, dot, dot. And, uh, and so basically it's like you're cutting. She uses um, a third her bow or whatever, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so uh, how many bows can she make? And you can just kind of fill it in. Is it bows? Is it something else? Okay, so like this, and then you need to have your answer. Don't forget, she can make six bows. Okay, 
Here's another one. Now this time, instead of having a hole or two as your um, tape diagram hole that we're gonna split, we only have a third, okay? So when you show your tape diagram, if this is one, you break it into three parts, we only have this to start with. These are those classic problems like, you've got a pan of lasagna, <laughs> okay? Um, you got a casserole. You've got crispy rice treats. Okay, something. Whatever you have, okay, you had what? But there's only one third left. Okay, now you've got to share this one third with uh, or between four people. That would be a way to use um, the third and then split it by four. And so what you're going to do is you're going to have your one third divided by four, which is a whole number over one. So it starts out like this. I always start by writing my own version so that I use the division sign so I can then say to myself, keep this, change the sign, flip and multiply. Okay, so how much will each person, if that's the way you write it, get, okay, of the original casserole. And so it's gonna be, you need your answer. Each person's gonna get 1 12th of whatever your problem says. Okay, let's do another one. Instead of 1 3rd, we have 1 4th. This is the same exact approach. Take one. It's not one whole, we only have one fourth instead of one third. And then we're gonna divide this into three sections, okay? So you take your problem, rewrite it, put the whole number over one, and then think of something that's happening. Again, you just have a fraction. You have one fourth of something is left, okay? And then you're gonna share that between three people or three dogs. Maybe it's a fourth of the bag of dog food is left. Three people, uh, three dogs are gonna share whatever. Dogs, cats, mice, guinea pigs, turtles, doesn't matter. Okay, one fourth. Fl keep it, change it, flip, multiply by the reciprocal. Do the opposite with the opposite and you will get the proper answer. And again, we have uh, one twelfth. So, you come up with the story, and then don't forget to include your answer and label it. Okay, and the final one, so it's pretty easy today. Become a subscriber. You can watch these fun videos every day, almost every day. Um, so this one, we have, we're back to the three is our whole. And so you can show all three things, one, two, three. You can always have the zero. This is like that number line that we were doing a couple lessons ago. And it's each one is divided into fifths. Okay, so if each one is divided into fifths, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five. Look at how nice and even those are. <laughs> Not really. Divided by one fifth. Okay, so we're going to keep the first whole, which is three, change and multiply by the reciprocal, which is the opposite of one fifth, it's five over one. And you get 15 pieces. And so what you wanna do is you wanna come up with, somebody has three things. What are the three things? They're gonna walk miles, they're gonna have three cakes, they have three granola bars, like what is it that you have? You decide what you wanna do. Um, but whenever you have each one, each thing is going to be split or shared between uh, five people. Okay, if you're going to run a race, is are five people going to run each mile? It's a three mile race, and you have each mile we're going to split between five people. Um, are you going to uh, have? 
three cakes and then each cake is divided into five pieces how many people can you feed so that's kind of where you want to go with these problems is give yourself a little bit of of room have some fun with the the story and and the characters put in fun people from from your favorite tv show or your favorite video game or from your family <laughs> um, put in your pets names it's really fun with these problems so uh, whatever you split it between five people how many whatever is it, it is exercises or miles or or fractions of a mile or how many that's probably not going to work out how many exercises will each person do if they um, complete the three miles and so anyway you're going to end up with 15 as your answer so you want it to make sense so anyway i hope that was helpful i know you guys are like why aren't you doing the work for me because i'm not going to do the work for you i want to help you with the work i don't want to do it for you so anyway <laughs> i hope that was helpful and i'll see you on the next video bye now